guys welcome back to my channel my name is McKenna and in today's video I'll be showing you how to do print on demand and how to connect your product from Printify to your Shopify store I'll be showing you how to create a design for your product and how to link your Shopify store to Printify for a quick explainer of print on demand print on demand is the process of using a third party like Printify and you'll be able to upload your designs onto a wide range of products and having that third party fulfill ship and distribute those products to your customers Print on demand is very similar to dropshipping in which it allows you to not have to hold inventory or to have to package and ship out any products. This type of low maintenance business model will allow you to be able to spend more time marketing your products. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Alright, so first you'll want to lay out which type of products you'll be selling. We can start with a small variety of products. First, I'll be showing you how to create collections for your products on your Shopify store. For an example, I'll be creating a clothing collection. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click products, then collections, and click create collection. You can title the collection, and you can also insert a cover image for this collection. Then when you click products, then when you open a product and click collection, you can assign it to that collection. Then when you go in to customize your Shopify store, first I'm just going to import a collection list and I'll be increasing the number of collections to 4. Then when you click on a collection, you can select each collection that you would like to display on your homepage. Alright, and next I'll be showing you how to link your Shopify store with Printify. First you're going to open Printify and create an account. I'm going to select I have my own e-commerce store. Then for your main objective, I'm going to select start my first online business. Then I'm going to select designing products. Under your checklist, I'm going to click connect to Shopify. Then you can paste in the current URL or domain name to your Shopify store. Here's a quick note on choosing your domain name. Before getting started on your website, a crucial step with your online business is choosing your domain name. Your domain name is like your online address for your business and you'll want to carefully choose one that represents your brand and increases your website's traffic. I'd like to thank .store for sponsoring this portion of today's video. .store helps you increase your website's traffic and your store's visibility. Highlighting that your website is an online store can help customers find you online and easily understand your type of business. Already over 1 million sellers use .store domain including some big names in the celebrity and influencer space such as Rihanna, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Beast, Zach King, and some huge brands including Discord and Emirates. That store helps you save more and also helps sellers unlock exclusive discounts on many different types of e-commerce tools and platforms. To order your domain, first you're just going to want to search for your domain name on their website and see if it's available. Once you've picked your domain, you can add it to your cart and also select if you'd like to secure your website with an SSL or get a matching business email. Those two are optional. I'm going to deselect privacy protection and I also have a special code for you guys so you can take this price down to just 99 cents. Use my code BEVSTORE in all caps. You can buy your .store domain on www.get.store and you can use their current limited time promotion or you can use my discount code BEVSTORE to get your order down to just 99 cents. Then you can go ahead and install that Printify app into your Shopify store. Anytime a customer places an order to your website, Printify will receive the order and start fulfilling the order. And you can search through their category of products. Then once you've chosen a product, you're going to click start designing and this is where you can upload your design graphic. When you click this tool icon, you can change the color variant. When you click on their graphics, you can actually use one of their pre-made graphics or you can create your own using Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, it is a free design tool and you can create all kinds of graphics for your print-on-demand products. I'm going to open Canva and click custom size. The dimensions I'll be doing are 3000 by 3000 pixels. I'm going to change the background to match that t-shirt variant color. Then under elements, you can search for the type of elements that you'll be adding onto the t-shirt and you can just upload one of these onto the page. You can also click text and upload text boxes. Then I'm going to download this in a PNG format. Here in Printify, I'm going to click upload, then click my device. And this is where you can upload that t-shirt design and you can resize it and make it larger or smaller. Click save product. Under mockups, you can choose which mockup pictures you'll be using to represent the product. Then you can write your title and your description for the product. You can apply your shipping methods. Then under variants, you can select which sizes you'll have available. You can insert your retail price for the product. Then under profit, it will show you how much your profit is going to be for each sale. Under product visibility, you can hide this in your online store if you don't plan on launching this product immediately. Then under Shopify collections, you can assign it to that clothing collection. Then you can view that product under my products. Then when you open Shopify and click products, you can open up that product right here. And here you can customize the layout of the pictures. You can also move any of the cover pictures around. Here you can edit the variants and you can change the price. Then here on Shopify when you open your website and click catalog, you'll see that that product is available on your online store. 
By the way, if you're interested in this Shopify website, I do have this Shopify website template available on my store. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. This Shopify theme template is adaptable for print on demand and drop shipping businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on your Shopify store, you can easily install this into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And I also have many other types of website templates available on my store, designed for online clothing stores, makeup and beauty businesses, and many other types of online businesses. And I will link those in my description box below. Then to customize your product page, you're gonna click on this product information box. And under desktop layouts, you can change the layout of the product photos. I'd recommend selecting a thumbnail carousel, this will give your product photos a clean layout, and you can also remove any one of these text boxes. And lastly, I'll be showing you how to set up your product reviews. You're gonna open the Shopify App Store and search for the Product Reviews app, and I'll be installing the Air Product Reviews app. This is a free app that you can install into your store. They do have some other packages that you can choose, but for the most part, you just need their free plan. When you click Manage Reviews, this is where you'll receive product reviews, then when you click display reviews, this is where you can customize the display of your reviews. Under review sidebar, I'm going to click setup and I'm going to hide this from mobile and hide it from desktop. This is so that you won't have that little pop up reviews button. Then I'm going to click star rating and I'm going to set this to simple. Then when you open that product in your Shopify store, click app embeds and you're going to turn on the air reviews app. Right below that product, I'm going to click add section to template, click apps, then you're going to import a reviews box. I'm going to apply the grid layout. Then I'm going to remove the heading text. And this is where your product reviews will display. And this is also where buyers can import their reviews and they'll need to submit an email address to match their order. Right under the title, you can click add block, click apps, then import a stars rating. And that will embed the stars button that will take people straight to the reviews. I'm going to show you another way you can add a product to Printify and I'm going to show you how to add a product with multiple different colors. Alright, so I just duplicated this product. I'm going to open this and click edit design. I'm going to delete this design. Then back around to Canva, you're going to open that t-shirt design. I'm going to remove the background and I'll be setting the text to black. Then you'll want to download this page with a transparent background. That is a Canva Pro feature, but you can get a free trial to Canva Pro. Then I'm going to click upload, then my device and upload that transparent design. Under variants, I'm gonna click select variants and I'll be selecting some more color options. Then I'm gonna click save product. Then I'm gonna click publish. And when you open the product in your online store, when buyers click on each variant, the correct picture will apply. When you click on the product information box, you can take off the sticky content if you would like. This way as buyers are scrolling, the text will not move along with the screen. You can also set the desktop media position to right. Next, you're going to open that product. And once again, you can move around these product photos. Under variants, you can quickly edit the color variants. So you can remove any of these colors and also add more variants later on. And you can do the same with these sizes. And here you can quickly edit the price of the product. And you can also bulk edit these products. And here are your editing options. Under status, you'll want to make sure that the product is set to active, this way it will appear in your online store. Then under product organization, you can change the product category, the product type, you can assign it to one or more collections, and you'll also want to insert tags for the product. The reason you'll want to import tags is so that when buyers are searching for products on your store, this product will pop up based on the tags that you've written. And really quickly, I'll show you how you can customize the web banner that is included with the Shopify theme template. Here on Printify, you're just gonna click on that product and you're gonna right click and click save image as. When you receive this web banner template as a part of the bundle, it will open here on Canva. When you click upload files, you'll be able to upload those pictures. Then just drag and drop them onto the frames. Then you can just download this page and upload it into that image banner section. And once you're finished, that's how to connect your product from Printify to Shopify for your print-on-demand business. Don't forget, this Shopify theme template is available on my website along with many other Shopify theme templates. Most of my templates are adaptable for print-on-demand and dropshipping businesses. These templates will save you a ton of time from designing your website from scratch. And these include instruction guides to help you with installing them. And I have many types of website templates for beauty and cosmetic businesses, t-shirt and clothing boutiques, home decor and supplies businesses, 
and many other business types. Those will be linked in my description box below. Once again, thank you .store Domains for sponsoring this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you're interested on how to create a one product dropshipping store, check out this video here on my channel.